advertising in the Super Bowl is really the biggest mass marketing event of all our time. When you think about it, you've got one out of every two Americans watching the Super Bowl. So in a sense, when you advertise on the Super Bowl, you're blitzing America. And you wonder if it's really worth the $1.3 million for 30 seconds for advertisers to appear in the Super Bowl. And it really is, because they're getting tremendous benefit, tremendous visibility, because so many people are watching it. And also, it's associating the product with the Super Bowl. It's the glitz, it's the glamour, it's the excitement of the game. And so, in a sense, it's really the Super Bowl of all of advertising. And so, when an advertiser goes into the Super Bowl, what they're really doing is saying they're one of the big guys and they're able to compete in the big game. The Super Bowl advertising really took off with the commercial from 1984. And what that was, that was a commercial that Apple used to introduce the Macintosh. And they were very successful with that product. And it's interesting because that was the only time that commercial was shown, one time and one time only during the Super Bowl. They spent millions of dollars on it uh, to produce it. And because of that commercial, obviously the Macintosh was a very, very successful product. And the commercial itself looked at Big Brother image. And a lot of people claim that that was how the information age came about and, and sort of the advent of modern technology uh, and communication as we know it. The biggest advertiser this year is going to be Pepsi. Pepsi is spending over $10 million to buy four minutes of advertising. And they've got uh, Deion Sanders, one of the Dallas Cowboys, is, is going to be with Wiley Coyote in one of the ads. And when you think about Pepsi, Pepsi did extremely well yet last year in their advertising. USA Today runs the consumer poll, and last year Pepsi took the first three spots. You may remember the first one was uh, the boy in the bottle on the beach. Uh, also the two um, truck drivers in the diner fighting with one another. And then the third uh, Super Bowl ad for Pepsi that did extremely well was when the guy was putting the money in the vending machine and the, the money kept coming out. So Pepsi did extremely well with their advertising and we're hoping to see a lot of interesting things from them this year. There were a lot of classics that were introduced during the Super Bowl advertising. We've got the Walt Disney what are you going to do next? And the uh, Bud Bowl was also introduced. Uh, and those are classic commercials that I think we're going to be seeing again and again over the next couple of years. Super Bowl advertising has really changed. It's gone from more basic advertising to a lot of high technology being introduced. Uh, so we're going to be seeing a lot more glitz and glamour and technology and interesting high tech types of commercials during the Super Bowl. Is it really worth the $1.3 million? Most advertisers believe it is because what they're doing is creating that, that image, that glitz and glamour, that association with the product. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot of advertisers continuing to spend that money. $1.3 million, is it worth that 30 seconds? Most advertisers believe that it is because what they are able to do is get in the face of America and promote their product and create that visibility and also that association with the excitement of the Super Bowl game. So as you're watching the Super Bowl today, don't so as you're watching the Super Bowl today, don't just pay attention to the excitement of the Steelers and the Cowboys, but also pay attention to the commercials because you realize that consumers are are being sought after by these these companies and they've paid tremendous amounts of money. So as you're watching the Super Bowl today, Pay attention not only to the game and the excitement of the Steelers in Dallas, but pay attention to the commercials because, as we well know, advertisers have spent tremendous amounts of money to promote their products on the Super Bowl.